Happening now, Texas State Senator Carlos Uresti has been released on a $50,000 bond after turning himself in today to face a federal judge. The San Antonio politician showed up to the federal courthouse in handcuffs. The Democrat is accused in two federal indictments on multiple criminal charges, ranging from money laundering to bribery, many of them with a maximum penalty of 20 years in prison. If found guilty on all charges, Uresti faces up to 180 years in prison. The senator maintains he is innocent of all allegations. I look forward to my day in court when all the facts come out and the truth and not just what's been written in the press. In the meantime, I have a job to do. I'm headed back to Austin, back to the Capitol to do what I was elected to do by the voters and that's to fight. Conditions of Uresti's release include surrendering his passport. He's also not allowed to be in possession of firearms. Uresti is set to be back in court for an arraignment hearing on May 31st. Joining us now is criminal defense attorney and former assistant U.S. attorney John Convery. And Mr. Convery, when was the last time something like this happened, a politician indicted in Texas on federal charges? Well, not in recent memory in this location. I remember Kay Bailey, Hutchison was in state court in Travis County, and uh, Mr. Wiley Price in Dallas, uh, a, a county commissioner on, on types of fraud allegations, and he was recently acquitted of all charges. So it's not a usual thing to have happen. Well, you have represented people, uh, clients in public corruption investigations. Do you have any idea how strong the government's case against Senator Uresti is? There's really no way to tell. Remember, the, all you have is an allegation written on some papers that he did this or he did that or he paid, he was given checks for this. Um, it's going to depend on the evidence in court and we're not sure how strong that is at this point or not. And what is the typical defense in a case like this? Well, typically the issue with a politician is, was it a campaign contribution? Was it legitimate or illegitimate? Was it for services as a consultant or some asked some legitimate thing, or was it uh, the sale or the purchase of what that senator does? You know, I will uh, work for this is what lobbyists do all the time, but I'll make sure you get this, or I'll make this decision based on that money is the kind of thing that's bribery. And, and Mr. Convery, what do you say to all of the people who have voted for Senator Uresti over his long career, 20 years, and have supported them, him? I, I say keep an open mind. Uh, I mean, the Constitution, our civics lessons, as children tell us, that we have a presumption of innocence and that we have to let the court system uh, take its course. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen at this point. Uh, just because a person gets bond uh, doesn't mean they're guilty. Just because they're charged doesn't mean they're guilty. I mean, is there a chance this all just goes away? Absolutely. I mean, that's what the trial will determine. The result will be determined by either a negotiated settlement of the case, a plea bargain, or it'll be decided by a jury in open court and, who will hear all the evidence and make a determination. I think we should wait till then. Any idea when this will go, go to trial? Um, several months. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a process that takes place. It's that exchange of information between the defense and the pros prosecution. The courts have their schedule mm -hmm. to contend with. Senator Uresti is in Austin right now because the legislature is still in session. So if I had to guess, I'd say six months, eight months, something like that. Okay. Mr. Convery, thanks so much for joining us. You're welcome. Helping give us some perspective on this.